Hi all, it's currently the very early hours of Monday morning, it's actually midnight 38 on the 20th of November. I'm in the process of putting a video together. I'm doing it now because it's the only time I get peace to bloody do it. Um, before I continue I want to welcome the um, five new subscribers that I've got. Uh, I did notice we get notifications on YouTube now. So and so has subscribed. So and so has subscribed. And I saw a couple in the notifications. And when I looked, I've actually had five people subscribe. No idea why. This is just a random channel. Random bolloki channel, you know. <laughs> but thanks for subscribing. Much appreciated. I hope you stick around. Um, anyway, moving on. There's a number of things that me and Mum saw on the way home tonight. Because I always go to Mum's on a Sunday. First was a copper just sitting in the middle of nowhere on his own with his blue lights flashing. <laughs> you know, we're about two miles out of town, my hometown, this one. So about two miles away from home and uh, we see the blue lights and we thought he'd pulled someone over because that road is prone to speeders. It's an A road so... <laughs> um, but there was no one there, it was just him sitting on the side of the road. His blue lights on, no cyclist, no car that he'd pulled, no vehicle at all that we could see that he'd pulled over. Um, but he's right next to what's, well, the best way I could describe it is a very deep pit. And I mean a deep pit. It's probably about 20 foot deep, if not deeper. Why it's there on the side of an A road, I have no idea. It's been there since I can remember. And even as a kid, you know, I'd look out the window and it always intrigued me. Actually, at one point, I did see a little rowboat down there because there's like a little pond right in the middle of it. So, a pond in a pit in the middle of nowhere. It's weird, isn't it? And when the weather gets better, like springtime, and I remember, I might take the camera up there and actually uh, show you because it's not that far out of town. So, no idea why he was there, but uh, anyway, there was then the... Um, weird lights that I saw in the sky. Uh, Mum thought they could be a drone or someone playing with a couple of drones but I'm not so sure because they were doing like a well what looked like a pre-programmed pattern you know and I think they were those powerful lights used at events you know that shoot big beams up into the air you know, not the sort of beam of light that would dazzle pilots, but a nice beam that would uh, reflect off the clouds. Because um, what they were doing, they were just scanning in the sky like that. And uh, every so often they would pause momentarily and then do that. I think they jerked a couple of times, you know, just a bit of a jerk movement like that. But most of it, it was just that. So I think it was those powerful lights, I don't think it was anything else. It's just really weird to see something like that. At least around here, anyway. Uh, what else? When I actually got into the block, I'd got up the first flight of stairs, and my two neighbours below me, this side and that side, um, were outside talking to each other, and, uh, they told me we had no running water. Um, from what I can gather, again going by Facebook posts, it seems a car had collided with a electricity pole. I don't think it was anything serious because the fire service hadn't been called. I checked on their live feed. so. But the power company shut power off for safety and to allow the vehicle to be recovered probably and uh, that actually cut power off to 530 homes on that side of town including the water towers that supply the town with fresh drinking water 
which I actually thought was odd because I grew up on that side of town. We had power cuts on that side of town and we never ever ran out of water. So I've always presumed and I would still presume that they've got like an emergency backup generator to run the pumps should power fail. Um, so I'm, th I'm going to presume that's the case and I'm also going to presume that something may have just failed when the power either went off or come back on. Could have been a surge that did it, a surge on the power line that might have blown something, we I don't know. Something failed anyway and we didn't have any water. The whole town didn't have any water. You know, it's not anything water's fault, we can't blame them, but they were quick to have engineers out to put the problem right. Um, I've got running water now, it's perfectly fine. In fact, running water came on probably about an hour, hour and a half after I got home, so not to worry. Oh, Scott was just telling me it's someone's birthday. Uh, I think that was it. I don't think there was anything else. No, we'll try and keep this short because I've got another video I want to do. <clears throat> I'll get this. Uh, I'll get this one edited. I'm just waiting for it to um, prepare my videos because I use Movie Maker, by the way. Mainly because this thing, the processor isn't good enough to run something like Adobe Premiere. I did try the um, trial version, but it took an age to open up on this. It was ridiculous. So um, I just uninstalled Adobe Premiere and I just stick with uh, Movie Maker for now. That and I actually know how to use it and uh, I've actually found a few more little tricks that I can do. I've just been having a little play every time I uh, put a video together. It doesn't take me long. I know some YouTubers can spend hours editing. Anyway, I'm going to pick you up because you're currently sitting on a stack of CDs. My, and now that's what I call music collection. I don't actually know why I started collecting. I collect weird things. For those that have just subscribed, I do collect lots of things. And I do have Asperger's Syndrome, in case anyone's wondering you know, or thinking I might, you know, collect weird and wonderful things. There's your answer. <laughs> you know. My Little Pony cuddlies I collect, and figures, and I build with Lego, and I've got bicycles galore in the shed, and tools, computers, laptops, a cat that's trying to get my hand with his paw, he's going like that off camera, see? <laughs> he's not using his claws, he's just pawing, I think he just wants a bit of a attention. I'd, uh, that's what this channel's about, it's just all sorts. Literally just all sorts. But I want to do videos where I'm more out and about and outside and whatnot. I think one of my more recent videos was my traffic cone collection if I remember correctly. I've got 66. So I've got two mini signs up here in the cupboard. Uh, but anyway, speaking of computers I was having a sort out in my outside cupboard, trying to rearrange it so everything I don't need to really get to and things you know that I'm not really using, like my die-cast cars, go right at the back of the cupboard, right at the bottom of a pile, because you know I'm not using them, don't need them. And everything that I do need, like my tubs of adapters and my electrical bits and bike lights and all that are all where I can get to them. Because I do need to get to them quite often, so. Rearranged everything in there, and I've bought some PCs back into the flat. Um, that one came with the most recent 
job lot of computers I purchased and computer bits and crap that I tend to purchase. <laughs> uh, it's a Packard Bell and the side panel's off because I had no screws in it and I was just curious to look in it. Um, the BIOS is password protected but I can get over that with the jumper. You can reset the BIOS to get rid of that password. So, But I actually noticed everything looks you know, OEM from when this was built by Packard Bell. We've got this weird um, audio thing on there. I can't remember exactly what that's for. No all IDE stuff. I've actually just noticed we do not have a hard drive cage in here. I have got one that I could probably saw a jury rig in there, but I don't know if I'm going to bother getting this to go or if I'm just going to strip it out for parts. You know, it's definitely an OEM motherboard because it's green. A lot of OEM motherboards back then were, or at least the ones I've come across anyway. I put the RAM in because it didn't have no RAM in it either. But uh, someone's upgraded the pro the processor, the um, power supply in its life. Because, uh, well, one, it's not actually screwed in there nice and tight. And two, it's a 550 watt. Can I just see it just up there? No, 580 watts. So it's nearly a 600 watt. I misread that. And it's got a SATA connector which is way newer than this computer. So I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do with it. I would like to get it working and somehow bodge a hard drive in there. Because it's an unusual looking case, you know. It's not a bog standard white case that they used to do. So... I mean, it does work. I have powered it up. Uh, this one I want to recase into another computer case, but I haven't decided which one. And this is going to pose a bit of an issue. I don't actually have to use those, I could just make do, you know, with the rear ones, which is on a PCI card. But um, I think, just for fun, I'll take these off this as well. And I'll choose a case that's got a blank like this, you know. An empty um, CD drive bay and I'll mark where those have got to go on here and drill the holes out and then mount it on one of these. Uh, I'm not too fussed you know with the USB ports and the far wire as well because uh, or the card reader because the case I've got in mind will have a separate card reader fitted and separate USB ports on the front so that's, that's not a problem. I'm just concerned about that. I'm hoping this is on a separate circuit board to that. And the card reader, actually. I'm hoping it's all separate, otherwise it's going to pose bigger problems. I didn't... Well, the card reader actually does look like it's separate, possibly. <sighs> we'll see. I mean, if that's all one card, then that doesn't matter, because I just won't make any holes for these that's all because they won't be in use so uh, that's one job I could do tomorrow once I've uh, ran an errand for mum and the two Dells down here one's my 4600 which has got Windows XP on it the other one's the 2400 which I think is the one I put Windows 2000 on because I was just playing around one day and I saw a YouTuber UXW Bill do the same thing with one of his dimensions. I can't remember which one. I think it was a 2400. It was 20 something. Um, it works, but there's like the onboard audio doesn't work and a few other things didn't work. And uh, now I've got my Dell Optiplex in here running Windows 2000 perfectly because it actually supports that operating system as well as Windows XP. Pardon me. As well as Windows XP, I don't need a Windows 2000 machine, don't need that one, so I was going to return that back to Windows XP. And they've actually, they're going to be stored in the kitchen, under the kitchen worktop, as I've got room there. Yeah, 
Yeah, I actually feel like we're trying to recase that Sony Vio tomorrow, so I think that's going to be tomorrow's job. Once I've ran an errand for Mum, because uh, she's at work tomorrow, so she asked if I would just pop across to the store and pick her a few bits up while she's at work. Because she's on her feet most of the day and she's got arthritis in her back, so... By the time, you know, she's done at work, she doesn't want to go walking around a bloody supermarket. So, I will go and do that tomorrow. I'm probably going to have to go and get something for breakfast, so I'll prob prob bleh, probably do it then. So it's all done and dusted and I ain't got to worry about it. And I can just come back here, eat breakfast, piss around with that Sony Vio, I'll clear some space in here. <clears throat> Should get one down there. That battery, I think, is the connected one. No, I nearly threw the wrong one in the bin. <laughs> That's the good one. Don't want to throw that one in the bin. I'll throw the knackered one in the bin. There's no point keeping it if it doesn't charge. I don't think there was anything else I wanted to mention, so... I'll get me false teeth in, that might help. <laughs> um, that's totally thrown me off on what I was going to say. Yeah, okay, I'll just sort that out. It's not going to take me long to get that sorted. Do the other video. Yeah, alright then. I've got everything planned, so I'm going to end it here. It's probably the shortest vlog I've done for a while. So, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you again in the next video. Bye!